So we're just outside the uh, church of St. Mary and St. Cuthbert in Chester Street and it's interesting to see why certain places become more popular as time goes by and I guess in recent years Chester Street and Washington in terms of areas have become more and more popular in terms of uh, places to live. And understanding why places become popular, you look into um, the community, the availability of uh, infrastructure, ease of travel, schooling. But that's not the only factors that come into it. You have to understand a little bit about the history of a place to understand why it's been popular through time and why small towns have developed into bustling towns, larger towns, communities and pivotal um, points within a, an area such as the northeast. And I guess Chester Street um, is one of those bustling communities that has developed over hundreds of years and um, just a little bit of history behind that. Um, Chester Street first became a major settlement in the Roman times, which I didn't know until I read about. And stretching from 100 AD to 410 AD, there was a, a Roman settlement here. And just once I get the name right, hold on one second. Concangus Fort was built here by the Romans. And that is the name which gives Chester Street the first part of its name, Chester or Fort. But why the street? Well, again, it's Roman related. Cade Road which is now Front Street, was a Roman road which transversed its thought from the Humber region through to the Tees, through to the Tyne, and further north. So the origin of Chesler Street as a name is Roman, and I guess that's the sort of first point in history where it's recorded that there have been many um, people living in the area. But there's other points of history as well. After the Romans left in 410 AD, the area became sparsely populated and in reading a little bit about the history, it became more popular again once there was a settlement of monks arrive from Lindisfarne and it became a, a religious area that became popular. And that um, kind of led to such places of worship as this church that I'm stood outside now and the congregations and the popularity of the town again becoming more prevalent. And with the links that it had back then, the infrastructure links, and the links that it has now, so transcending, transcending rather, historic times through to modern times, what with the A1 close by, the ease of travel to Newcastle and Durham and beyond, it's no wonder that Chester Street, as well as Washington, have become very popular places to live. Got to then look at what I said earlier, things like the community. So what is there to offer to the communities here? Well, if you take a slow walk through the front street, you can come across a butcher's of sorts, a baker's, and even if you go to one of the markets, which are held three days a week, I'm sure you'd come across a, a candle maker. So, you know, the three mainstays of what gives a town its credibility when it comes to, you know, availability of shopping. But, you know, that's, again, historic times. What about modern times? Well, you have Aldi, Tesco, Asda nearby. A plethora of places to visit, to see, to shop at. And if you fancy the odd, tipple in the sun there's a number of local bars and taverns and cocktail bars now as well so it's easy to see why this area is popular it has everything there is that somebody could want in a community availability of infrastructure travel um, shops schooling for kids things to do places to see historic and present 
So just some thoughts on why Chester Street is popular now and will continue to be popular moving into the future. I'll do something similar on Washington as well next week, but um, yeah, I thought this was interesting for me, certainly looking into the historic um, records of Chester Street and you know, finding out a little bit more about Concangus, Cade Road, St. Mary and St. Cuthbert's Church, Chesterburn Viaduct as well, and not to mention Lumley Castle. So yeah, some great areas of significance here. So if you live here, get out there and visit. And if you don't, come to visit. And I hope you're all well. Thank you.